time that investigators got a warrant to go search her house while she's laid up in the hospital. A search of Angette's home revealed quite a collection of voodoo items. They found spell books, candles, potions, powders, and roots. Well, none of that's incriminating. But, but it's freaking them people out. But definitely started stirring this rumor pot. Oh, I guarantee it. They also found several boxes of ant poisoning containing arsenic. The case spread throughout the area. Angette's involvement in the black magic was, of course, sensationalized. She was arrested and charged with four counts of murder. Well, during the trial, Angette was making headlines. The platinum woman would show up for court looking very chic and glamorous, always showing up for court decked out, perfect hair, perfect makeup, expensive jewelry. Yeah, she's got a little money. Looking fly. And huge crowds would stand outside the courtroom hoping to catch a glance at her, like she was some kind of celebrity. (laughs) Again, like she's walking the red carpet going into court. And of course, the trial ends up making national headlines because you've got this very glamorous, attractive blonde. Okay. Uh, You know, beautiful, walking, you know, into court looking like Marilyn Monroe or something. Four people murdered. And the bitches in the voodoo. Including two husbands. An old woman, not to be offensive in any way, and her own daughter. Yes. So that's that's a crazy story. So all of that combined with the fact that she's casting spells, people talking about how she's whispering into candles. Yeah. She's really into the occult. Well, that's a story. Fortune tellers, all of this. Oh, yeah. And you got to consider this is the 50s. There's not a lot of entertainment. Today, if we heard this, people would probably be fascinated with For 10 minutes. But, yeah, yeah, we didn't hear about this kind of thing back then, so it was just no. a really big story. Angette was found guilty of four counts of murder and given the death penalty in Georgia. The governor ended up ordering a psychiatric workup on the woman, and doctors said she was insane. Doctors believed she was schizophrenic. She was spared death and sentenced to a mental health facility in Milledgeville, Georgia. She eventually died of a heart failure at the age of 52. So she didn't live very long. Wow, she did all that in 52 years? There were reports, though, that she was at this mental hospital and would brag about how she had totally played the system. Oh, yes, she did. That she wasn't crazy, that she knew exactly how to act insane. She knew what to tell them and, you know, thought it was funny. That that I don't doubt that a bit because she's a very very manipulative and narcissism, all that shit. Yeah, never showed any kind of remorse no, for the killings. No, just in it for what pure she... Pure greed. Yeah, or convenience. Well, it also makes me wonder... Like the daughter. What the hell was to be... You know what I mean? What was to be gained by poisoning your own daughter? She just didn't like her. She looked like her damn ex. Yeah. I well, mean, it also makes me like wonder shit. because she's doting on the daughter and Well, the that's all of it. Like a bunch of them by proxy. Well, I was going to say, maybe she had a case of that where she liked for people to be sick... She wanted to dote on them, take care of them. Yeah, and they're all extended sicknesses and hospital stays. And she got to soak it play all play the victim of like, oh poor me, look at my yeah. poor family. I'm gonna stay here look with what them. We've been through. I'm gonna come in every day, glammed up with the big hair. And then when they die, she's getting their money, but she's also getting the sympathy of, oh poor you. That's exactly Attention. what it was. She's turning it into Angette's situation rather than those other people who were ill and and dead there you go we're going to add i don't know if any article out there or story about her has that in it we're going to go ahead and add here at mountain murders munchausen by proxy well that's what it well. seems like coupled with well with it drawn you know, out like obvious that? other issues like even if like you she's a greedy poison bitch. them and someone goes and be in the hospital for a month you don't have to be there 24-7. You know what I mean? She's just there in the middle of it. She's drinking that up, that energy, the sympathy. You know, she could still poison and murder them and never go to the hospital. Well, and if she's bringing them food. Yeah, and continuing to, the hospital, to murder, uh, poison them. I was going to say, that bitch probably still poisoning them people. I, I guess she probably did a very minute amount, just keep them poisoned over an extended period of time. Are people still murdered with arsenic? I mean, that seems like a way of the past. 
I don't hear about too many modern tales it's still used. of arsenic poisoning. It, it still happens. And then, of course, there's like the famous movie, Arsenic and Old Lace, the play, the movie. Well, any t- just think about it, though. Anytime it is poisoning, arsenic is typically your go-to because you can get your hands on it, right? You can get some rat poisoning or some ant. You know, you can get your hands on it in the public. And it's very, it's very rough death. Yeah, I mean, it definitely seems to be a pretty rough death. It always makes me think of uh, the film Flowers in the Attic. Yeah. Wasn't the little boy, one of the little twins, poisoned with rat poisoning or arsenic and yeah, I dies? think so, yeah. And some of the symptoms, I just looked it up because I was kind of curious, like if you are poisoned with arsenic, what the symptoms would include. Red or swollen skin, skin changes, like new warts or lesions. Nice. Abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, cha cha cha, abnormal heart rhythm, muscle cramps, tingling of fingers and toes. It's fucking your whole system up. Constant sore throat, digestive issues, persistent digestive issues. Well, think about her first husband had like a throat infection and then had yeah. throat issues. There you go. Well, if she was poisoning them, ongoing. No, no fucking wonder. <laughs> There's no telling how long she poisoned that poor man. I know. Even if he didn't tell her about selling a restaurant. She was poisoning him the whole time. Well, what a great story. We've got murder. We've got sex. We've got greed, poisoning, and we've got voodoo and black magic. And glamour shots. Glamour shots. She's definitely the kind of woman that would have had like a huge like poster size glamour shot of herself. Oh yeah. Above the mantle. Yeah. Oh yeah. Or like an oil painting where she's like wearing some froofy dress and holding like a poodle in her arms. Prominently displayed. Yeah. In the main living living area. Don't you think so? Oh yeah. Cause she's a fucking narcissist. Yeah. And she's an asshole. She is. And will you tell people where they can get more of us at? <laughs> if you want to <laughs> listen to more narcissistic assholes, you can find our podcast. Basically, any place you find podcasts. All of We're them. We're on Facebook. If you find or look for Mountain Murders, search Mountain Murders. We're on Twitter under Mountain Murders and on Instagram, Mountain Murders Podcast.